everybody, Test Tube and Fan here. Welcome back to another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. And this is where it all comes down into as we approach to the end of the first night of the game in Game 2 as we're ready to see this next matchup. Now it's the rematch again as the Golden State Warriors are about to do it again to face against the Nuggets. Now this team is not always the work well, it's a champion. The Nuggets already made an incredible win to start things off, but the Golden State Warriors haven't been able to be practicing it all day before the next game hits. So it seemed like that they were doing it, they need to find some other key info, info if they can get it through coming. Well, let's find out if they can do this next part of the game. And hopefully this will be a tie game or a 2-0 game for the Denver Nuggets. The next commentator I'll have is Son of Beast, and he's also along with Tyler Beast for sure. And the next part of the commentary, I just have it all coming. Well, you never know what's going to be like that. It's because I just bought someone in there. Well, you may never get what this is. What's Bernie? And finally, we have this David Aldrich here on the sideline, here for our 2K Sports Crew. Now let's get you handle it back to Ball Arena. Enjoy the final game, folks. And tomorrow night's game will be coming in between for the Celtics and the Sixers. And finally, that one will be the uh, afternoon's game. And then tonight's game is the Bucks versus the Heat. And Pfizer dot Forum. And then the Timberwolves face against the Phoenix Suns. Well, we'll be at 9 p.m. sharp. So let's find out who wins this game. See you all later, everybody. As right now, Stephen Curry and their team are gathering in the locker room, ready to start things off for Game 2 in Mile High. Hey everybody, it's Son of Beast, and I am at Ball Arena for tonight's matchup of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. I'm here with my, with my broadcasting crew, along with Tyler Beast and Wood Spoonie. And David Aldridge is also here on the sideline too. This matchup is time to get rumble. Murray and Curry are our point guard positions. Carwell Polk is with Clay Thompson. Ben Andrew Wiggins is with Aaron Gordon. Draymond Green, the center man at the tallest point of the center position on Nikola Jokic. And finally, all calling for Michael Porter Jr. With another look of in possession in between as we reign and on Clay Thompson. You know it's time for It's Game Time. Let the playoffs begin! That's right now the ball is tipped and we are ready to get this thing started. Here at Mile High, all fueled and ready to go. Continuous call on Pope on Clay Thompson. Gordon on Jonathan Kaminga. Curry takes a three. The first three-pointer can't hit the mark. Slowing things down, now finds again. Wiggins with a bad pass. Here on a two-on-one fast break as Clay Thompson will slam the jump drive. This starts things off there big, and this is not what they all have been counting on. Because elevating is just a hard one to take a response as effort. You know, they tried to do that with a lot of them, but this may not be the day they can call for them. They really got to step in screw and then get it done. Or a junior, Bernie Wayne, six on the shot clock. Three for Aaron Gordon. Jokic didn't be able to take his own rebound as Clay Thompson's got one. And here's Curry with a drive. It's good. Takes that one in there. This one starts things off for Curry with two points and Clay Thompson with two points. Well, there's one other way. Don't leave that musty behind to stop if they get over it. And Thompson will be doing it again. The solid performance on Clay Tavius Carwell Pope. Now Michael Porter Jr. will start things off to make the drive and his first foul falls on Stephen Curry. His first personal foul and their first team foul for Golden State. You know, this was not happened because Michael Porter Jr. had that one to give that one a stall drive and that one turned to be like a crazy tough one angles that you gotta take a drive in there for a better playing position. He's at the free throw line shooting too as they'll take their first trip to the free throw line for Denver Nuggets with only 6.41 to go. Michael Porter Jr. hits the first free throw. 
You know, to say about Michael Porter Jr., he's one of our biggest terrific of the NBA seasons that he's ever been accomplishing it for. This one is not my only day, but this was all I can definitely say is Michael Porter definitely has definitely played for University of, Mi of Missouri. He definitely has been playing it for most of it. They all call for MPJ for sure. They love that initial gear, yeah, and this is what they all do. They really like to keep on things going, and they really wanted to get that one here done right away. They really love that name, because MTJ is fantastic. Yes, an easy sigh, it does happen to be Michael Ford Jr.'s best career to take up. Wiggins on a try. That one takes the rebound for Nikola Jokic, as he has his first rebound of the night. Here's Murray, he's on cover by Jermon Green. Porter Jr. trying to give it over again to Murray. Swinging again. Jokic up with the two and good. Takes it in for the start of the drive for Nikola Jokic. They're all tied up now with four. They never score things skill. They just have to be a nice one to get there. Green steps back now finds Curry. Moving over to Kaminga. Warden with him now. Trying to step in for the two. Wiggins on the outside for three. The start three-pointer can't hit the mark. Murray will take it over to get a Carwell Pope. Now he swings it over again to Murray. Murray looking now, finding again a Carwell Pope. Carwell Pope now finding again a Porter Jr. He gets to Murray with the fish off with the two. And that one starts things off for Jamal Murray. That one is his first bucket. You know, that's what Jamal Murray does have in between because a Canadian player rule played for Kentucky now realize he can get that one here going straight away. Clay Thompson, no good for three. You know, the bad angle doesn't happen to be what they've done. And this is what they can't usually do because if Clay Thompson really has to make the three players get their fruit. The bad stolen year by Golden State Warriors as the first turnover turns it over. Now with the second turnover as Kamina's got the ball. He wants to take his drive. Solid performance for Jokic. Kaminga have it back. Green for three. And good enough. And doesn't go in for the range inside. Jokic finds Murray. Gives off to Aaron Gordon. He dishes off to Michael Porter Jr. Now gives again to Murray. To two for Gordon. Stepping up. That two-pointer doesn't hit off the mark. Well, it's easy side because Aaron Gordon doesn't really think he can really take the two-pointers in, in that one. He doesn't really know if he can shoot that better. It's done. Three-pointer makes it in for Stephen Curry. They're back up in the lead by one. Versing Denver for this season in four games, only got 22 points, but this average has been turning with the assist only four, just 31% for his last game of this victim. Well, it's just quite often. I mean, you know, that's the possible of that one. It's not really what Stephen Curry is making them all feel like it's what they've done. The possibility is not what they're coming in for. And I can't tell that this one really keeps on coming down. Whatever happens with uh, Stephen Curry, he gets that one drive and he knows he's, he's going to handle it. After a bucket made by Jamal Murray, here's Curry for three. Hit off the rim as Jokic will have his third rebound. 3-3 left to go in the first period as Porter Jr. on his way to make the drive. And good! Porter Jr. gets another two. The first timeout call by Golden State Warriors with 3.24 to go. You know, that's how you start things off right now because Denver Nuggets are only the ones that cannot be ruled down because they are the better teams ever. I think their favorite teams is going to make a win. They're going to go for it. And your take there, guys, of what goes in for the next couple of games as we have the next one coming up for you for tomorrow afternoon as we have the next part of the game. You all call for this time, and you know what it is. That's because of it. It does happen to be one of them, and not for most of it, at every game twice. Because of that point, they don't believe what they do for if they get this team target down. We got the OKC Thunders facing against the Pelicans. Then the next game that will happen to be for later afternoon, as we have another team ready to make a drive as the Sixers battle against the Boston Celtics at TD Garden Arena. Then later tonight will be the Bucks and Pete at Pfizer Forum, and finally the Wolves against the Suns. What's your probability for your take, guys?
Well, I'm going to say that the first guy, OKC Funders, is going to lift it off that straw. I say that they've really been pushing our way through, and this was no way luck. So I guess there might be a going for in there in between. Will they do one? I guess they will. Well, you know what? I've got a good feeling for Golden State Warriors. I think OKC Funders might be the perfect way to get this one done. You know how it angles, because they really like to do it all their own. And backcourt violations called on Schroffer. That turns it over to the Nuggets ball. We have a good range here as Stephen Curry has it for this season. After a turnover for the Golden State Warriors, here's Reggie Jackson. He was decided to give off to Stropper. Kozinski had made his first turnover as he stepped over the backcourt violation, and Stropper knew he was stepping over out of the line, and he just saw that one coming. Well, I know it just happened to be a turnover, and it, they could have got a good signal here for the referee. They got a good one to stop. Reggie Jackson steps up for the two, and he makes that one in. Reggie Jackson with his first bucket. That range off that side, it has to be Reggie Jackson's idea, and they, they were really like all over it now. Just to turn it off to a great start. Sarich, over on Watson. The shot can't hit for Sarich. As we take another look here for the probability of what's going on, Sixers and the Celtics, what's your take? Well, I'm going to say Celtics are going to do this one again. I'm thinking that they are really like a favorite team to win in the first round, but I don't think the Sixers may not be able to get that one through. Because you don't know what comes in now. If you really think that you are the Sixer bond, you know the team is going to definitely beat you right away. Yeah, i got a good feeling right now. I think that the Celtics are going to win that one again. And for the later tonight's matchup, what will your take be? And for for right in between. Well, I guess now Miami Heat, they might be struggling it in now. They might be fighting and fighting it on its way, but hey, you never know it, how this is gonna come out like that. And I probably think the other one team, maybe the Wolves might be coming back. Who never knows? Well, I say that the Suns can definitely make the win, and probably on the other team, maybe the Bucks can. Who knows that one? They really wanted to get this one shoveled off. Chris Paul with the ball. Watching a spin move on the attack. With the spin around. Up for two. CP3 no good. For a Sunday win against Utah, this happened in the regular season on the last one they have been dominating it out. They were really putting up a great run in their scores. Yes, to say about that one here, but without Utah Jazz, they can't really mess them up. The punch it is, no one's getting that through it. They really are having a whole, whole time to get this one right in there, as that one is going to pick up a now or stop imaging on that shot angle. It never really works on that point, but don't let that happen. They get fooled over. Kozinski with the screen, up for two. That never missed by Golden State. Uh, he's trying to get that one in there. Brad, Braden Kozinski really has to get that one shot in there. But he didn't really think he was going to fix it up. Not well enough, you can. Now he finds the pass to Watson. Watson swings off to Braun. The three for Reggie Jackson. And goes in. Three pointer makes it in. And it has eight points. And Braun with the assist. The Golden State Warriors trail by 18. Here's the drive. CP3 earns the bucket. He finally has it in there, and now they're back in and now. Down by, you know today, down by 19. And here comes Paul, taking his time. Looney finds Sarch. Gives again to Pazemski for three. And that starts things off for Brady Pazemski with his first three-pointer of night. They trail by six. Jackson for half court. And that went short. That one ends the first quarter. 20 to 14 is the start for the Golden State and Nuggets. We got a quick break here and we'll get right back to the action after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, we got you started for the second quarter. Nuggets are one of the best teams to win it again. Will this be a back-to-back -back scores for the 2K Sports and for the real NBA playoffs? Well, this might not be what they want, but at least if they can tell for the Denver Nuggets, I think they might be going for back-to-back -back games. After the Huskies took out the Purdue Day game, they've definitely done their back-to-back -back schools at this point. 
I love seeing that one there. That one was the best team, and they're favorite to win because they have a great franchise players. They've been really have been pushing it off at the same time. I know they're definitely a great team. They made it all the way to the final four and win it again. And yes, I may say, it, it might be a back-to-back -back of the sports, but let's find out if they can do one. Gordon, with a step back for two. And he'll take his own rebound, now find Jokic with a drive. No good. And that one stopped up on Draymond Green. Curry now finds Green. Green trying to survey the floor, now feeds again to Kamiga, now Thompson on the outside. The three, Green on Jokic. Try to hold on with the ball. Clay Thompson back to Kaminga. Great ball movement for the Golden State Warriors. The try puts it and it's good for Jonathan Kaminga. He's got his first bucket start with the second half, second period of the game. You know, easy what try does. For Jonathan Kaminga, he makes that finish easy enough. That one takes a dunk for a piece of cake moment. They may never know when they can get that by. Porter Jr. now finds Jackson. Jackson now has it over again to Jokic. Jokic to try to take the cart. Here's another one for Michael Porter Jr. And makes a three in a triple range, but this one was on the three-point line. He has two. Well, that one's going to take over for now, but he's on a three-point line. They counted it as a two. Wiggins with a throwdown, and that shot goes in. He makes that bucket and one as Jamal Murray has his first personal foul, their first team foul for Denver. Now, they're really nothing but you call for Andrew Wiggins. At better start, they make the drive look easy. Reggie Jackson's checked out, as right now it's Carwell Pope checking in. And right now, Wiggins is at the free throw line shooting one. And he misses that one. He only made two buckets here, but no free throws to extra to give the point. And now Murray will try to give it off to Jokic. He now gives again to Porter Jr. He now gives to Jokic with a side step two. And good. Jokic has his fourth points in the game. Oh, he's been really good. Digging on Jokic might have to watch out for trouble here. Curry looking it over. Now finds again a Wiggins. Porter Jr. on him now. Screen on green. Here's a take to Green, and it's rejected by Jokic. Jokic with his first block of the game in Game 2, looking to get more rejections here. And he finishes off with a drive. Jokic has six points, and Michael Porter Jr. with the assist. Now that's what happened. When he made that one with the block, he had that one turned over to try to stop on Green. But look at that play, they really loved it. Timeout call by Golden State Warriors with 5.39 to go. And we're ready to get this thing under pressure here as we go back to hockey. we got our next game in here, so keep your eyes tuned here. The first part of the game will start things off for the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Florida Panthers at Scotty at Bank Arena. Following along with the next game as we get this thing in the West Coast, as we have another game underway for you. This time, this now goes for Nashville Predators, and this will be, be facing against the Stars later tonight here at 7 at 8.30 p.m. at 7.30 p.m. Central Time in Bridgestone Arena. Following along with the tomorrow night's game as the Kings battle against the Vancouver Canucks. That one turns to be like it's the next part of the game to get underway here, and you'll find out what goes in to start things off your board. Yes, I know I changed the schedule out there, but don't worry, we're trying to get this one over. Well, you'll see what happens. And finally, for the East Conference of the matchup here, as a later afternoon, as we get this one here to start things at 5.30 p.m. That will be the next one here as the Hurricanes battle against the Flyers here at Wells Fargo Center. That will be at Philadelphia at 5.30. And then, for this game, Bridgestone Arena, Braves and Stars, 8.30 p.m. And finally, the Canucks and the Kings at 10.30 p.m. Watch you every day now, only on Seven Beasts. Be sure to subscribe to, this ch to my channel, and have, we'll have tons of more underway shortly in the, between the range. If you don't, somebody will. Now here's Curry. He finds again the Kaminga. Gordon takes a pressure to make the drive over the air. 
And a good shot put in for Stephen Curry. And that one turns to be Kamingas with the assist. Now that's a great help on that one with the communication, the strong drive. It's ever happened before. The contested shot was not really the range where they were really up to it. But that challenge is keep that running your life and get that done. Murray with the drive and he's fouled. Stephen Curry with the second personal foul, nearing the five minute mark in the first half. First team foul. At the line for Denver, Jamal Murray. It's the first free throw. You know, the saying about the blue arrow, he does have it to be one of his contributions that he has ever done. Back when playing with the in the playoff position here for last postseason, they definitely made their win. He's definitely had that quote, basketball is life. I know I handle all of it. Sometimes they make me call it from the best of the all, blue arrow. But I am more professional than anybody and for as a Canadian player, let's bring on the team. Yes, it's pretty sad now because uh, Jamal Murray, he was really like a professional player. From the Kentucky, uh, University of Kentucky, he had really had been playing so much ever with his constipation and he has never done for another contributing game. He has done for a lot of consecutive seasons in each row. That's a lot to handle it. And Nuggets will win the ball, jump ball here. Here's Aaron Gordon, hasn't scored yet for each period, but now he will give it off to Jamal Murray. Gordon decided to give the screen for Michael Porter Jr. That was rejected. Tries to stop and look over it. Gordon now finds Porter Jr. Here's a take, Aaron Gordon to drive it, and he will take it in. Aaron Gordon with his first bucket to finish the drive after Porter Jr. Now uh, he's been not he really giving up that point. I mean, he's doing really well. Kaminga on Gordon. Watching the time with the shot clock and the game clock. Stephen Curry on Murray. Murray on the defender. That three-pointer doesn't get off the mark. He misses another three-pointer. Had a little tough timing here to take all this work. The effort the pies off, but you're never going to succeed if you get there through. Murray bounce pass to Porter Jr. Almost lost that ball, and they're going to do the same thing with a jump ball in between a Wiggins and Porter Jr. Oh, they're really aggressive now. Don't let that handle it if you can get it through. And the Nuggets will retain their possession. Porter Jr. trying to beat over Wiggins. The drive puts in, and they advance eight points. 32 to 20 is the score as they trail by 12. All you can handle now, just go on, you keep going. Wiggins finds a pass to Thompson. Looks it inside, trying to finish the arc, and he makes a drive in dunk. Clay Thompson touches the crowd as they're back down by 10. Well enough, definitely, and they're making that one elevating more possible. They really have nothing else to make them change off like they way they're used to be doing. I know they've done that, but don't let them get uncomfortable if they get their through. Carwell Pope, bounce pass, last touch on Clay Thompson, move under three minutes. The new substitution is on the court for the Golden State Warriors. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. And it's Looney checking in for Wiggins. And the Nuggets are also making new changes as three players are checking in and three players checking out. Ron, Watson, and Najee are checked in. Now Murray will have it out on the court. Give off to Braun. Shoots over Thompson. Solid D. Najee's got it back. Carwell Pope trying to give off to Braun. Shoots over again. And that one trains it in. Braun's got his first bucket in game two. Here's Stephen Curry. Trying to feel out a little bit, hasn't scored with the three-pointers. CP3 doesn't hit it that time. 
that misses again. Another miss by Golden State Warriors. And now Watson will have it over again to Braun. He now gives it Watson. Gives off to Murray. Murray trying to pull in with the step out. Najee up and drive in. That puts it with a two-pointer. 36-22 score. Murray looking for another assist down. Uh, yes, he does. Excellent work on the play and effort for Najee. I think he hasn't scored yet that far. Two minutes remaining in the first half of the period as this one goes on as Jonathan Kamingo will have it. Trying to cover and bound. And it's denied by Watson. Here's the tape to Carmel Pope. He now has it over to Watson. Watson finds again to Najee. Nanji now gives him Murray. Murray to finish the arc. And the drive put in for Jamal Murray. Here in the 92nd mark. As right now, here's Stephen Curry. On a score, keeps that wood coming alive. I mean, that wood really does it all. Now Thompson has the ball. Now has it over and down with Brian. Ball with it now. The screen for Looney. Pulled in with the possession. Up for two. Doesn't take up with it, and Looney, and that one foul called on Najee. He put one minute and 11 to go. He put that look into the lead in the great game for Andrew Wiggins. 21.8 was a better percentage for 2020 to 21 season. All does happen now that what happened to Andrew Wiggins, he was really in depth off. That one really had to be carried off carefully to go at that one with another tie. He is the first free throw. New substitutions on the court as three players are checked in and three players checked out. The Nuggets are also making the changes as Curry, Thompson, and Kaminga are checked out. Zimski, Bayton, and Sarge are checked in. Two players are come off the court as Reggie Jackson subs in for Murray and Stropper checks in for Carl Wolf Oak. And he makes the second free throw. On his way down, here's Jackson with one minute to go. Don't forget, coming up will be the halftime report, as right now standing by will be Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny Smith and Shaq O'Neal. With a good, incredible first half between, right in between of those two, on the Nuggets and the Warriors. That's all right here, only on 2K Sports, only on Sunday Beast. Braun with a drive, and he finishes off. That one puts it in for another bucket score for Braun. And Schroffer has the assist. You know, easy say now, Braun has that one coming in now. I mean, really have to be like a legend. The two for Paul. Tip back in, and Looney will have it. Looney has another two-pointer score. Down to a 30-second mark. Now Jackson finds Braun. Braun swings it ahead. Now finds it Watson. Watson gives it again. Find a pass to Najee. Oh, look at this play. This one turned to be like it's a quick pass in the paint. Well, that one that was going to turn it over, but now you get that feeling. That was pretty crazy. I know that one's going to be like a great, great angle to go with the pass. Why not? CP3 on Reggie Jackson. Find a pass to Bozinski. Stropper. For the two, and it misses off the target. And so that ends the first half. 42 for Denver and 26 for Golden State Warriors. We'll get the third period underway, but let's have David Aldridge on the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over-dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you so much. We'll be right with you shortly. And the halftime show's on. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. After two quarters, it's Denver out in front. They're leading by 16. Kenny, what was your impression? Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and thrilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench, and these guys delivered. 
to Shaq. What do you have to say about the Warriors? The Warriors the Warriors. The coach is absolutely ripping it to the Lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send it back courtside. Kevin Hart. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And with the third quarter underway, we're about to start things off here as a 42-26 game. Talk about now for the Blue Arrow. He's been one of the bestest. All safe for Jamal Murray. He's been doing a great moment out there. Yes, everybody's favorite. I know he's elevating that pressure and on the talking grinds. I mean, he's been really kicking it off for sure. Yes, to say about now. I mean, you're never going to see what happens if he does it again. We start things off with the third quarter, fueled and ready to go. Clay Thompson is on for Davis Caldwell Pope. Murray's with Von Curry. Vance Gordon, he's with on Jonathan Kaminga. Michael Porter Jr. here on Andrew Wiggins. And finally, it's Green on Jokic. Five on a shot clock. Trying to spin around without attacking, and he makes that one in there. Jokic starts things off in the third quarter. He has eight. Now that's what I was talking through it, because the Joker really has that one with his press and angle. His shot does come into handy. All fruition in, it's just what they all do to just keep on it going with the attack. Make the good try for the Golden State Warriors as he makes that one in there. 7-17 left to go in the third period. Now Murray will have it. Now he's Porter Jr. He gets the pass to Carwell Pope. Now finding Gordon. He gives it again to Murray. Murray trying to swing it over. Now finding again to Carwell Pope. Seven on the shot clock. Gives it again to Porter Jr. With the shot, two-pointer misses off the target. Jonathan Kaminga having a little bit of difficult with that one here, as we have a report for David Aldridge. He's been definitely trying to get that one in with his attackers. That motion this is not harmful enough. But when you do it, you get that one done. Steve Kerr definitely talked to one of his uh, one of his teams, and he's definitely saying that this is what we got to do. We got to push it through and get it done. Foster Wayne needs to, needs to get that with Bison in there. They've got it done, done quite time, but they can't let that one get away. Nice three-pointer for Michael Porter Jr. He has 11 points, a 47 to 30. It's now or never. Michael Porter Jr. wants to do it again. Now he's a pass to Kaminga. Pulls a push in. Over Gordon. That one misses again. Jokic now finds again to Gordon, now looking it over. Gives the pass back to Jokic. A lot of expanded reach bounce in here, and this was there to be a little bit too much chaos. I need to look for some more up here. Well, they really are trying to get that one a hard thing. Now, they never want to get that one away. Deep bounce pass to Jokic, over Perry, and good luck. Jokic has 10 points with another great assist here. This has to keep on things going. I'll get that through. Thompson's on guard ball point. Oh, Curry, step up for two, and good. He does it again over Jamal Murray this time. He's trying to get another two-pointer to get that point brought from the lead. And Gordon has it right on Jonathan Kaminga. Now he's against again to Carwell Pope. Carwell Pope backhand into the corner junior. Keep it over to Murray. Now he finds again a Carwell Pope. Now swings again to Porter Jr. He gives a pass off. Two-pointer for Gordon. That rolls in and out. Seven Curry trying to look for a drive in. Careful. Now go to Clay Thompson again to Curry. Curry dish off to Thompson for three. Another miss by Golden State Warriors. Jokic just got his sixth rebound in the third game. In the second game, now gives again to Garwell Poop. Now off to Jokic. He finds again to Gordon. Gordon on a drive. That tight defender got him here. Well, Gray must have had that one in there. I think that the Jonathan Kaminga must need to get this one in there. And Gordon almost rejected it, but he was fouled. That one caught him by the ref. Yeah, it's pretty easy now. I mean, All Saints goes and goes on and on. I mean, they were really expecting that Jonathan Kaminga just got that one going into the free throw line. They're going to send him right away. First team foul called on Denver, as right now the first trip to the free throw line will be Jonathan Kaminga 
on the start for the second half. He missed the first free throw. Really hard to say for Jonathan Kaminga, but all that never has to be, whenever you do something important, you give that one a good look up on their bed. Well, some, well, they really are going to get this one in there. Some of them can't go with the, with the stat at that point. I see Jonathan Kaminga, he must know his type techniques, and sometimes he does all his best. They need to get this one in there for free. He makes a second free throw, and now here's another one for Murray. 49-33 is the score with 4.15 to go. Carwell Pope trying to ang angle it out. Now we give again to Murray. He goes again to Porter Jr. Find Jokic. Step back, up for two. It's good. Jokic does it again with 12 points. Four minutes going by in the third period. Now here's Green. Over now again to Thompson. Thompson gives again to Wiggins. Wiggins trying to hold on with the D. Surveying the floor, and he does it again. Number two for Andrew Wiggins as this one comes in, the 51-35 game. Murray now finds the real part Michael Porter Jr. Gives it again to Carwell Pope. Carwell Pope sliding it in around Thompson, and what a drive! Thompson did not notice that he was going to reject it, but Carwell Pope got a good, slight, late slinge point ahead. That one turned to be like it's all for anybody. You know, continue to score one boat. He must have gotten a lot of them with this percentage. Keep on fighting. Curry for the step back for three. That one again misses another one. Uh, he's not doing really well. Easy enough. He's getting on a lot of hard ones to type. Not a bad one to be. Draymond Green with his first personal. On their team foul for Golden State Warriors with 3.02 to go in the third. Aaron Gordon trying to see if he can take the tackle if he hits the free throws in between. Well, free throws are not always that uh, possible. I mean, can't let this one go right toward you. If you know what they did, our team needs to, needs to get this one over and finish. That needs to be like a better play in his career high on his score. Gordon missed the first free throw. Now with some new substitutions as the three players are checked off the court and three players check on the court. This time, it's Sarge, Pazewski, Paul, and on the other side over here on the other one, as four players are checking out, four players are checking in. Now G. Braun, Stropper, and Jackson are checked in. That's good for the second. Golden State Warriors trailing up, trail, extended the trail. This one's knocked out. Looney's got it over on Nudgy. Wazimski gives a pass to Paul. And a two, put back rebound, and good. CP3 adds a number two pointer into range. This one's now a 54 37 game. And Jackson will take his time now. Now he finds it over to Braun. Braun with a layup. Oh, what do you know? Braun does another layup in. He has six points. Well, that's going to happen with Chris Braun and that one. You better be believing it. Brady Brzezinski adds a number two pointer in there as he has that one come back down. Brady Jackson with the ball. Now he finds it again to Braun. Braun now has it over to Schroffer. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter of the period. As now, Reggie Jackson trying to trade the floor. Excuse me, now one for Schroffer. Schroffer gives again to Braun. Reggie Jackson up for the triple range. It's good! Outside makes it in. 11 points. They extend it 20. Now you never know when you could get that one ball. That one turned to be a kid off pointer. You get the pass to Pazinski. Screen on Rudy. And Richard Mao will be called on Nunchi. That will be his second personal. Now it's Aaron Gordon checking out. Azal asks Stephen Curry checking out. Gary Piggy in the second checks in as Brady Pazinski moves over. And as for Gordon and Nunchi moves it over. Coming back on the court, 
is Watson. Aaron Gordon moves over to center. Here's Paul, covered up by Ricky Jackson. Sarge with the screen, trying to slide it in. Here's the two for Sarge. Layup doesn't have able to hit it in. Here's Braun. Watson, it's got his third rebound. Try to look for another the strong effort on the defensive skill. Now he gives off to Jackson. Up and over head pass to Gordon. And Gordon can't hit the two-pointer in. Wozemski with the ball. Spins around. Try to attack it inside. And a drive puts in for Wozemski. Well, there's a lot of scoring breakdowns. They've got to watch out with that one. If they can't let them leave alone, then there's no way that they can answer it back if they get this one through. Jackson flies again to, to, over to Watson. Watson almost lost the ball. Braun for three. And that one turned to be a loose ball foul called on Aaron Gordon. As this one turns to be another foul on Denver. As now coming back on the board will be Wiggins checking in for Sarge. He's on, he's on a bench, now changes it over to Golden State Ball. Wazemski tries to attack it in, drive it up, missed again, rebound, doesn't hit it off. All right, this is going to be a hard one to tie. Nobody's getting over this with the points. They really need to get this one focused on and go in. He gives off to Gordon, now finally again to Watson. Screen on Gordon. Fades, shot, stolen by Looney. Bait in the second, trying to look for some scoring drops. Call for three, and good, he finally does it all. As CP3 er, takes his first three-pointer in the second half. Ronnie Jackson with no room, and that will end the third quarter. 59 to 44 is the score. They have been on fire already, trying to like answer it back for the Golden State Warriors, but we will get right to the fourth quarter after this. They are showing no stoppage at the sign, and they all do get that team back in. Four quarters underway next after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Let's have a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. Now to say about this one here, I can always tell you what it is imagining, and this one really has come in along the way. Chris Brown made the biggest drive out of it, so easy, he made that one with the stop. All does happen. They really say that that Stropper has done it so far, so good. And I really love that one with the patient in here in between. They really have been crushing it and keeping the gap out of the line. They are really doing it again. Paul finishes up with the layup as this one starts things off with the final part of the quarter. We start things on. Murray's on Chris Paul. Then it's Michael Porter Jr. on Devon Looney. Draymond Green on Jokic. Carl with a poke on Clay Thompson. And Braun on over by Williams. Now finds again a Murray to take the three. Put the rebound back in as Braun tries to step it out a bit without the three second call. Porter Jr. now Honey Murray. Here's another one. The takeover for Jokic. Spin around with the shot. Takes it in. He has 14 points. Murray with the assist. Oh, look at that. Dynamic duo between Murray and Jokic. Their fight continues. CP3 on a backhand shot. And that Looney takes up with the shot after assisted by Chris Paul. Chris. Well, that's what you could always say for Chris Paul. An easy way to take this one in there is to take a lot of time, make some shot, get a good connection in there, and take it all what you get. Now he finds a pass to Thorwell Poo. Up and overhead pass, stolen by Paul. Paul on his fast break, over with the alley of and he does it again. Andrew Wiggins slams it home, and Chris Paul with another assist on a successful alley -oop. Murray finds it over to Porter Jr. Carwell Pope trying to finish up with a try. That one went short. Clay Thompson with another rebound, and he goes it over. And what a dunk by three on three. Oh, uh, there was Silence Crowd already. They're watching right now. They're really feeling it out of it. Don't look at it. Carwell Pope finds again Ruby. Passing 
two-minute mark on the court. Jokic to finish the drive, and he does the same thing. He has 16 points in his game. That one turned to be like it's all for anybody. You know, the same thing that happens like that, Denver Nuggets has been one of the best teams. Give a good credit, though, if you can. Now he finds Looney again to Wiggins. Wiggins to CP3 for three. That missed the target again. That goes with another miss by Golden State. And they're not shooting really well. I mean, this is not what they expected, what CP3 has done. All of this accomplished right now because Stephen Curry was def definitely giving him some instructions. But Chris Paul never really got onto it. That may need to be uh, another thing to get that one over. Jokic, he stepped back for two. That deep to two doesn't hit off the flow. That's pretty odd, man, Mike. Keep on happening, let it go. And Jokic, oh, what a denied shot on CP3. Ends up with the scoring drop take. Oh, uh, that's what you know that takes it out. Step. Jokic, get me that ball. He has that one coming in. Jokic unable to take the two. No still stealing ball yet, as Clay Thompson holds on. Gives off the pass to Thompson. This is again, Jokic doesn't even want more, and he has nine rebounds in this game. Lead off to Jokic, he's off again, and what a take layup. Another timeout call by the Golden State Warriors with under 430 to go. Well, you see the coach right now for Steve Kerr. He's definitely disappointed. He, he, this one is a disaster of it. Because there's a lot of scoring breakdowns. This one's not going to be easy if they're going to keep on going. BNBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. Sour Patch Kids. Sweet, sour, gone. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. New substitutions are on the court as Stephen Curry will check in with Chris Paul. Now back in for a full counting of the full starting group as Looney and Paul are checked out as Kaminga checks back in. And as another one for the Denver Nuggets as Braun and Gordon Jr. moves over, now is Aaron Gordon back on the court. You see what they say because if Aaron Gordon really must have happened this a lot of time, but I think he, he wants to do this again. He gets a bounce pass to Porter Jr., but now wants to Jokic up. What a take here for Porter Jr. Jokic got 20 points, and he's the Joker King on the court. Uh, everybody's loving favorite here as Jokic does it all. He's definitely finalizing it, trying to get this one in, finish line to the process. Now here's Thompson on four will go with the screen by Green, and the drive will stop it by, and this one knocks out. Here's another take here, as and now Murray has it. 3.30 left to remain in the fourth period. And now this one goes again. Now finding Carlo Pope. In the corner, finding again to Murray. Just six to shoot. Gordon for two. And he take it in there. Gordon shows his response. That's what I do is to shoot. I've got better at it. Yep, there you go. That's why Eric Gordon really finalizing and the pressure pays on. And the foul's called on Golden State. Jamal Murray with the second personal. And Stephen Curry at the free throw line shooting too. Now the big problem is you can't usually get rid of Stephen Curry with the drive. That one's just a fair hard foul. They're not really there executing it and this is not how it's happening. They just really can't let that one leave off below the surface of the line. They really need to get this one dog tightness on their goals. Stephen Curry at the free throw line shooting two with 3.08 to go. Makes the first free throw for Stephen Curry. You know, um, what fantastic show does bring off. He's been one of the legendaries here. He might be his next NBA in the Hall of Fame. Well, just the future of realizing it, he's definitely like a young act, but you may never expect it of what this one comes in, because Stephen Curry and his brother, Seth Curry, has it all. 
I figure this range is going to like turn to be the all for everybody who really wants it to get in there. Sometimes it does happen, but not really at all if they really want to count it. We're Jenny now finds again Murray and now over again to Carmel Boat. Up and overhead pass to Jokic. Fake the shot, finds Murray, and the take game goes down. Murray has 10 points, assisted by Nikola Jokic. Clay Thompson. On continuous Carwell pull with the defender. Slides it across, now finds Stephen Curry for three. That one missed again. Uh, Stephen Curry's really cold already. I mean, he's having trouble getting this thing done. You're never going to be at peace of it. Jokic to the two. Oh, my. He does it again. At this point, Jokic got 22 points. You know, an easy way to say Jokic is a joker. You realize him, and you die at all. Kaminga finds on Gordon. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter as Wiggins is on Gordon Jr. Slides it in, makes a drive as Wiggins does with the number two. As right now with Wiggins, he only has 10 points, but comparison for Michael Porter Jr. has 11. Porter Jr. will decide to avoid the step. Gordon on the outside. Back again to Murray. Murray firing across now by Porter Jr. Jr. up. Sliding up with a two. And does it again. Michael Porter Jr. with a number two. Now that score range doesn't happen to be the comparison of what they did, but this one realized to keep on strong. Timeout call by Golden State Warriors with nearing the 90 second mark in the period. As a take here, guys, in this one, it will be the final part of the game in game two on the second day, as this will be the last part of it all. And you know, this one might be what it takes to go. Timberwolves and Suns, what's your take? Well, I'm going to decide that it's going to be all Timberwolves, I guess. Minnesota wants to get back into the race of the game. They want to do it for all. I would have to say now, Suns, they're going to come back in there. There are no quits here. They never won the finals. Hopefully, it doesn't matter way, but they can try to answer that one in back, and they really wanted to find out what goes in. They're never going to find that one in there. You never wanted to let them feel like, oh, we need the Suns to have that one defeated. I think there's a chance for them to do this. Let's find out they do. And now for your presentation for the New Balance Player of the Game, Nikola Jokic. Now you say what Nikola Jokic is, he's like the best joker in town of that game and on the court. He's been really been kicking off this moment. That this pride does have it all. I guess so. It's really what they say, Nikola Jokic really is the best basketball star ever done on his accomplishment. Here's Sarich on Porter Jr. On a finish drive, that one went too strong. Porter Jr. has got his first rebound. Gives off to Jackson. Jackson trying to go over it. Now he finds again to Watson. Watson has it over. The bounce pass to Najee. Fade off the shot. Watson gives back to Jackson. Jackson trying to fire it in. The drive is a loose. And Peyton, the second, has the ball back. Try to hold it over. To take the two. That one tries it up. Sarge for two. The number miss puts in. Battling for a rebound puts it up by Naji. We are under a minute remaining in the fourth. Schroffer, excuse me. Jackson now gives again to Watson. And he went out of bounds. That turns over to Golden State Ball. We are under 50 seconds remaining as the final group change has come in for the Warriors. Wiggins checks in for Kaminga. And for Nuggets, also with the never new switch off look, finding a new look for DeAndre Jordan. But unfortunately, his night won't be the day after him to give it all they've got. Well, I'm thinking that he's on the, he's on the bounce. I think that's the last group line when the clock comes down. But unfortunately for now, this won't be the day after all. Kevon Looney again to Bozinski. Try to hold it back. 
Fans on their feet, giving us applause here for the team of the Nuggets, Ember, the Warriors, in game two. Watson doesn't need to shoot here, as right now he gives it back to Porter Jr. And Schroffer will let the clock wind down as the shot clock is coming down to the end. And Schroffer will take a quick farewell to game two as the shot clock is turned to be turned over and the final possession for the Warriors. And that should do. Final score of the night, 75 to over 56. Denver extends 2-0 in the game, and now they're looking forward to get to game three. Now you've got to see what you've done. You make that all clear. What a guy. Let's go down to, uh, to David Aldridge for the player of the game. Hey, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Your call-up coach has talked about the growth of your leadership. What's gotten you to be more vocal? I just want to ask my teammates. I think it's just something they need to listen to me. I just want to make them better. So I'm just going to do that. Well, it sounds like they're listening, man. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. And that about wraps it up, folks, with F.P. Son of Peace, along with Tyler Peace, and, of course, Wood Spoonie and David Aldrich. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. See you next time, everybody. Until then, good night and mile high. All right, thank you so much, Eric Centipede, and we couldn't have done that one with Denver Nuggets with the two-game winning streak at home. Now that's what they all call for. What a win to take all. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 66 and 50 was the three-pointers and field goal range for the Denver Nuggets. Then the free throw was even. That had to be 83 over 71 for the Denver Nuggets. Might be a hard thing to get this one through. Only 10 fast break points for Golden State. 38 and 4 was even in between the paints and the point and second chance points. 24 over 23 got a little close range in that for Golden State Warriors. Then 29 assists over 14 for Denver Nuggets. Then 9 defensive rebounds was Golden State, but 29 defensive rebounds puts it over for the Denver Nuggets. No steals given for the for the Denver, but only six for Golden State Warriors. Three blocks. Watson and two on Nikola Jokic. That happened to me for the Nuggets on its way. One turnover for the Golden State and three team fouls was five dunks. That's quite crazy enough. Then 20 biggest lead for Denver Nuggets was 17.57 time possession of the game. Now it's time for a new bounce player of the game to be stepped on, but first, third star starts first. Fan, all you. All right, thank you so much. We start things off here with the third star player. I don't know what they could call for, but Stephen Curry really got that one here with the tightness of the game. I know he's really doing really well, but 13 points is not that bad for him. Only two rebounds and two assists. He only had one steal at that point with nine, with a number one look, naive, and so on. With five and 11 field goals and one three-pointer is made. So only 17 performances, but the effort is, doesn't pay off. It does happen to be a close one take. Number two, as I give it over to an another player here, we go now down to the Nuggets. Number two star goes out to Michael Porter Jr. with 13 points, two rebounds, seven assists, five out of six field goals, and one three-pointer was made in between each of the periods. He only had done 27 performance effort. Really well to be beating out of Missouri. From the college of his team, he does it all for once. And now for the number one star. This goes out to a New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. 22 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, and a block for 2. Does that one pretty impressive. 11 out of 14 field goals was, was great, and 26 performances got to a got good start, and it got much better for game 2. I think game 1 was a lot harder than that, but I think game 2 definitely got much better. He's doing really well for you, for sure. And now that wraps it up here, folks. I hope you enjoyed your first part of the day of the NBA playoffs between the afternoon and the evening. If you're tuning in for tomorrow night's game, we've got your next one to be covered on here, as we've got the Heat battling against the Bucks here at Pfizer.forum at 7.30 p.m., following along with the next game at 9.30 p.m., 
will be the Timberwolves facing against the Suns in Minnesota back at Target Center. In the afternoon game, well, this goes for OKC Thunders and the other side of the Pelicans for the first game. And the second game will be the Celtics and the Sixers at TD Garden. With me, along with Ben, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports Style. See you folks next time. Goodbye, everyone. See you all again tomorrow. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.